Why? Why do you want to do this SBA? And who cares anyway? That's what your introduction is going to be about. Welcome back to our series on how to write the perfect SBA. My name is Mr. Matt and today we're going to be looking together at the project title and the introduction. The project title and the introduction overall are worth 5 marks. The project title is worth 1 and the introduction is worth 4. Let's start by looking at the project title. Now the project title should be clear, concise and related to a real world problem. Let's kind of break that down a little bit. So it should be clear. The objectives and what you're going to do in the SBA should basically be in that short summary. And it should be concise. That means it shouldn't be too long. So when you have an SBA title like our SBA, yeah, that's short, but it's not clear. It doesn't tell us anything about what the project is going to be telling us about. If you had an SBA like my school's talk shop, what about your school's talk shop? Is it the, the prices they charge, the time you have to wait, the way it smells? We don't know from that title. But if you had another title, something like, how feasible is it to start a business in X community? Then that's clear because it tells us what you're gonna be doing and it's not too long, it's not too drawn out. So that would be a title that would get a mark. The next four marks are in the introduction. You get one mark for your objectives clearly stated. That is, you outline exactly what you plan to achieve in this SBA. You get two marks for a comprehensive or a detailed description. That means your description tries to cover all that it can in a short way. Kind of like your title, but you know, longer. And you get one mark for your table of contents with page numbers. Make sure that you don't miss out that one. So let's talk a little bit more about description and the objectives because that's the bulk of your introduction. Now to get a nice and comprehensive description, I basically just ask myself, who cares? What is the problem? I mean, why am I interested in doing this problem? What's the background? What exactly am I going to figure out? And what am I going to do with this information? That can kind of help you to write a nice, comprehensive description. For example, let's, let's say that your SBA was on the most common type of shoes at school, right? First off, who cares? Why are you doing it? Are you doing it to win an argument that you're having with your friends? Or is it helping you to decide what type of shoes to buy next? Or is it that you're trying to start a business and you want to know which shoes to stock up on the most? Once you figure that out, then you should outline what you are going to get from this SBA uh, or, or this project. Is it that you are going to find out the most common? Are you going to do a tally? Um, is it that you are going to find out why people choose that brand? Is it you know you could ask them if it's comfortable or if it is the prettiest or whatever and then with all of that finally you should tell us what you're going to do with that and that kind of ties back to your purpose or what you are why you are doing it so guess what we're going to do let's mark some sbas together now in this sba this guy starts with a picture um it's all right that's that's a good idea Kind of covered out the candidates names i just borrowed some sbas to look through and here they have their table of contents with the page numbers at the bottom so that's a good idea they get one mark there they have the acknowledgement a lot of people put that in you know and then here is the project title let's read does the height of a basketball player affect the number of goals he or she scores? I think I'd give this project title the mark. It's clear and it's concise. Not too much information, but I kind of have an idea of what's going to be going on. So let's go to the introduction. The purpose of this assessment is to investigate if the height of a basketball player, nah, 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 
The assessment will present the instrument used to collect the data for this project, present the data, analyze the data, the findings and the conclusion. Okay, so now let's think about what we said about the description. First, the objective should be clearly stated. I'm not really seeing that here. I'm not really seeing any background either. Uh, it's kind of vague and it just tells us what they're going to do. It outlines what the SBA will be about, the parts of the SBA, but not really what you want to figure out. So all of this here, all of this is kind of, it's not really relevant because we know that that's what's going to come in the SBA. So I think I'm going to have to give this description a zero. I'm sorry, but it, it needs to explain why and what it is doing. So this project title and introduction would get a 2 out of 5 from me. Let's look at another one. Now this SBA put its title at the start, put the title on the cover page. What impact does music have on adolescents' behavior in St. James? I think that's clear and concise. So I'll, I would also give this project title the mark. Da, da, da. It has its table of contents, so you know they'll get the other mark. Does it have the page numbers? Yes, it does. So it gets that mark there. The acknowledgement. And here is the introduction. Let's read it through a little bit. Music plays an important role in the socialization of children and adolescents. As a result, some believe that music has extensively contributed to the flawed society in which we live. These students knew a lot of big words. It is upon this premise that the researchers will carefully examine four main genres of music, namely reggae, gospel, dancehall, and R&B, in their individualistic impact on the behavior of society at large. Now, so far, I see why they want to do it. Um, they, they, they mentioned the background, what music has to do with 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 behavior and children and adolescents so that was good that's a good start they mentioned what they're going to cover they're going to examine reggae gospel dancehall and r and b they outline how they're going to do it by means of surveys questionnaires and other means of data collection i wouldn't necessarily say they have to put that in the introduction but still nice that they put it there and then in the next paragraph they talk about the purpose of the research uh, as in what they're going to do with this information. So I would give this description the full three marks. The objective is stated and it's comprehensive. So overall, the project title and introduction would get a five out of five from me. So that's a little idea into the project title and introduction of your SBA. I hope this video helped and you can stay tuned for the rest of videos in our series how to write the perfect math SBA.